Hello my crafty gypsies, this is Mary Ann and today I um, want to share with you my goodie bag for the month of February from Gone Artsy. I got this on the mail yesterday and I'm super excited to share it with you. Um, you guys know that Miss Deb have a lot of new products, a lot of amazing items in her store. <clears throat> um, she has expanded and there is so many beautiful things in there I mean everything she had before it was amazing you're gonna hear me talking over and over about you know how in love I'm with the quality of her um, of her products every day I go in there and every day I find something new so you need to stop by the store anyway so let me share with you what I got for the month of February and um, I got some of the new items, and uh, I think a few of them are not new, but I uh, would love to work with them. So let me show you. The first one, it's a, it's called mauve, mauve and Green Vine Embroidery Tool Lace, and the number is GA156 and look how beautiful this is. This is so so pretty. So beautiful. So delicate. Let me see if I can put okay. Alright. There you go. It's beautiful. It's like it's it's embroidered and then it has like different shades of green going in and out and the little you know veins around like they are like in shades of green it goes from a very very pale green almost a creamy color to a dark hunter green beautiful shade of green and then it has like like four little rose buds in here that go from a very very pale pink to mauvey into a more like a burgundish color it's a very very beautiful trim and as always, <clears throat> so soft, so beautiful. So once again, this is the GA, let me look at my paper, um, GA156 for this one. Um, the next one is one of the new trims um, and is the White Ruffle Edge Fox, Fox Pro Trim. And the number for this one is GA59. And look at this beauty. Isn't this just so pretty? I love... Uh, <clears throat> you have like... It's like a complete trim. You know how sometimes you um, lay your lace and then you want to put something that is... To give it a, a finished look, you add that little cord. And then you add your pearl trims on top just to get it. It's like all in one. You don't need to layer a bunch of things to make um, to make it look like a finished trim. This is finished already. And I absolutely love the little gold thread that holds the pearls inside. Like it's a, I don't know if you can see it in the camera. But it's just like a little, um shiny gold string that goes like zigzagging in between the pearls i think that just adds like an extra like cute touch to the trim and more like a finished look and once again this one is the ga59 um <clears throat> my next item is the peach uh the peach paper pennies and this one's coming a set of six. And the number is GA467. And this one comes in a variety of colors. Uh, my last month I have them on the, I think it's like a different shades of pink, but I got them on peach this time. And I got two of those. They come in bundles of six. These are very pretty and full, super cute. Now spring is around and 
these ones are gonna be beautiful for some uh, spring projects so I can't wait to use these ones let me put it right here so you have a pretty side of oh my goodies all right the next one is one of the new um, trims is the 1.75 inches rose pink scallop floral uh, and the number is GA447 and I got the the rose pink one and look how pretty this is this one she has available in a lot of different colors she have a, a full variety and this is a great buy it's a great buy it's the price is so awesome that I exhort you guys to go and stock up on these ones because you know if you're a flower maker if you uh, it, it's a great lace to um, gather together and make embellishments make flowers um, I mean you can use it for so many things and the price is awesome and it's not that you know price is good because it's a cheap filling material no it's a very nice trim and the colors are awesome i mean she has so many different colors in this one i chose the pink this time um i think i would have go with the i don't know white or cream but i promise this year i'm gonna try to use more color so i'm trying hard <laughs> and this is an absolutely beautiful um shade of rose it's a rose it's, it's a beautiful color and uh but she has i mean the colors are so vibrant and uh cool like she have blues and yellows and oranges like if you like bright colors like i said now for um this coming uh spring projects or maybe even summer you know if you like to add that pop of color this is it um like i said the price is awesome and you can make so many things out of this okay my next is the i got the prima uh oh my gosh some of these words i just i know if i say it, i'm just gonna butcher this <laughs> it's the bloom collection uh from the shabby chic treasures resin embellishments and it's the hearts and the number is ga527 and i have them right here And these ones are super cute she has um, a variety now she have a variety of Prima embellishments in her store as well I don't know for how how long she's gonna be running the pre-order for Prima from the new collections from Prima as well as the uh, G45 graphic 45 she have some pre-orders on the Facebook uh, fan group if you go to the Gone Artsy fan group on Facebook, I think, I don't know exactly how much longer she's going to be doing the pre-sale. Um, but yeah, go and check it out because it's the new uh, Prima collections and the G45. But already on Zbit on the store, she have a um, collection of um, embellishments from Prima uh, and things to get altered so once again stop by very pretty i can't wait to use this okay so the next item i got it's one of my ultimate favorites i think it's one of many of us favorite and is the ivory crochet uh ruffle stretch lace this is not a new one but it's a must have it's a very nice those of you that make baby bands, you know, like headbands for babies, this is so, so soft um, and so beautiful. I mean, it's so pretty. So you can make pretty uh, headbands with it, maybe garters. Maybe, I mean, beautiful trim. I love it and I love the color. <laughs> um, okay, I got the, the seam binding. I got seam binding in various colors and um, she have she added uh, 
new colors of seam binding to this store. They come in a five jar uh, little bundles. So I got a white one. I got the, this is the white one. And then I have the aquarelle. Aquarelle. Then I have the rose petal. This is a beautiful color. It's like a mauve. It's very pretty. I got the burgundy. Is that burgundy is the color, the name? Yeah, it's a burgundy color. And then it, this one is called tangerine. It's like a peachy. Mm. Yeah, it's not orange, orange. You know, tangerine is like a little more uh, pastel -y, light orange tone. But these ones are the ones that I got. And they come in bundles of five yards. So this goes a long way. Um, <clears throat> also, I got some of the feathers because, I mean, if you heard me before, I go crazy for feathers. And I got the Curly uh, Nigori, Nigori Goose Feather Pad. I got it in solid red. And this one's, once again, these ones are amazing to make uh, head pieces for babies or some, I mean, you can... You can make so many things with these ones. I think they're so fancy. They just take your projects to uh, the next level, you know? And this is how they look in the back. This is so cute. I love the little curlies in the, you know, the little tips of the feathers. They're curly. I get them. Maybe they give these feathers a perm before they put them together. I don't know. They're so cute. Um, so I got it in the red color. And the number for this one is the GA221. Then I also got it in white. And the number for this one is GA104. And let's say, where is my, I had it, oh, right here. Let's say you're making a pretty headband for a baby. This is just an example. It's not what I'm going to be making this month. but, And then you put like the feather, right? And then you make a beautiful flower with some uh, lace and put some pearls. And doesn't that look beautiful? Like some pearls coming down. And you have a fancy baby. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah. So I got those feathers. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. I ordered some um, paper. I want to expand my um, paper crafting a little bit. I've been trying for quite a bit. Uh, it's just hard for me because I just love, you know, laces and pearls and um, all the other stuff so paper crafting i mean it's beautiful i love paper i own tons of paper but i have to uh, work more with it i love paper so much i love it i love the looks of it it hurts me to cut it so that's why i have beautiful pages i don't use because i don't want to cut through them it's the same with the laces. It's so hard to cut them, but hey, final products are so beautiful. Anyway, let me see. I have uh, the, the from the Fab Scraps, I have the uh, Shabbylicious collection. And let me see what number this is. Well, I'll show them to you. And um, this one is called... Um, uh, uh, uh let me see you know what i'm going to do is like when i upload this uh video i'm going to put in the corner somewhere here maybe down in the in the screen i will write the number for each of these ones because um uh, okay this one is a chubby bird yeah shabby bird and these ones are double-sided and the number for this one is g a 562 and it's a beautiful shade of green my camera picks like a little gray tone but it's like a, it's a green green shades and you have a beautiful um bird like a pink 
bird in the corner and some flowers and then the back of it is this pretty um, pattern so this one once again this is the chubby birds and uh, GA562 so I got uh, that one and then this one is the from uh, Fab Scraps 2. This is a, the Shabby Licious Collection Chic Mixed Double Side Paper. And this one is the GA563. And once again, it's a shade, it, it looks green on the screen. Um, sorry, it looks gray on the screen, but it's a shade of uh, green. Like, uh, yeah, it's like an olive green. I don't even know. But it's a beautiful uh, tone of green. And this side, look at this, how pretty it is. This screams my name. I love this paper. And very good paper also. Not paper thin. Ha, you got that right. No, it's a good, it's, it's a very nice, steady, um, double-sided paper. So great possibilities with that one too. So I got two of those as well. And I got the birdies. And then um, this one is this the from the Shabbylicious collection as well this one is called chic share um double side paper ga561 and this is how it looks like it has those lovely um shares with the you know seat area is in shades of pink of course and the background looks um it's like this one is different shades of uh gray this is very pretty looks like it's distressed already and then the back is gingham and i absolutely adore gingham so i got that one <clears throat> okay so this one is from maja designs and this one is called summer basic collection and the number is ga six five nine and this is how it looks like it looks like a very distressed mauve color it's very pretty it looks like it's crackled and everything it's very nice and then ta -da, beautiful roses once again the same you know a palette of colors is um shades of pink creams and greens and you notice these are for two different uh, designers and I try to stick with the same uh, theme, you know, the same colors. So you can mix and match. So you have that option. Once again, very steady cardstock filling paper. Now I want to show you something. You know how you will take this part down here and then you will trim it off because right here. You see this part down here? You cut it off because you don't want all that information. But look at the back of it. Isn't that so cute? Like, you are going to cut that off. But of course, you can use that strip of paper to make, like, mini embellishments. And um, I don't, it, it's a full trim. It's beautiful. So I got two of those. And then my last paper is from... Um, uh, da, 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 da. I'm looking for the name in the paper. One, nine, two, three. Okay, this one is as well from Maya Designs, and is the Vintage Summer Basic Collection. Okay, this one is Vintage Vintage Summer Basic Collections nineteen one nine two two, and the uh, Gone Artsy number is GA six six five nine. Then the next one is the Summer. Uh, vintage summer basics collection but it's a 1923 and then the g uh the gone artsy number is ga660 and this is how it looks like it is like a lighter shade of pink so this is a little darker this is lighter but once again it has that distressed look to it and very in the back you know push back in the uh background it has like a damask type of design and it looks like it's crackled as well and I love the distress uh, design that it has in the edges and this is how it look in the front it needs tiny tiny little flowers 
in the same shades of uh, pale pink, gray, and green. And look at the trim on this one. Isn't that so cute? It's so pretty. Yeah. So this one gives you so many possibilities. Now, you know, people doing pocket letters, people doing those flip books now. If you're into card making, you can cut those trims and make like little banners, make a little embellishments for it. All right, and last of my items is Metal Pearl and Rhinestones Heart Ribbon Slide. And the number for this one is G830. And it's a ribbon slide. You, you put this ones on ribbon, but you can use it as a, you know, a bling by itself. And um, I got a few of these ones, thinking of my next month's project. And these ones are so pretty and delicate. It's a little pearl um, heart and uh, rhinestones around. You know, you, you add bling to something and you just take it to a different level. It just makes things look so much prettier and um, elegant. So, yeah, like I said, this is a ribbon slide. So you can put this one as a ribbon buckle. But also, you can just cut the back if you want to or leave it like that and just add it to um, any of your projects lots of possibilities with this ones so these are my items for the month of February from Gone Artsy uh, please stop at the store like I said there is a little bit of everything for everybody um, the store has so many new items it's like amazing and um, Yes, yeah, stop by. Remember, Gone Artsy on Seabed. Also, uh, there is uh, the Gone Artsy, the challenge group on Facebook. They have a month, every month they have a challenge, which you have the chance to win a $10 certificate for the Gone Artsy store at Seabed, which $10 will go a long way. You get a lot of goodies with that. And, uh, yeah, and then also you can stop by the uh, fan page on Facebook and uh, we, you know, share projects in there and you can um, see, you know, there's so many talented uh, crafters that show their projects in there. It's great to um, see and get inspired and add your own twist to your um, projects. And yeah, also I wanted to tell you before I... I just dropped my paper. Oh, great. Um, anyway. I have a code for you when you place your order at Gone Artsy. If you add the code, when you're checking out, you add the code DTMA15. DTMA15 stands for Designer Team um, Mary Ann 15. Um, you'll get 15% off your order. How cool is that? Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you. So stop by and um, today I'll be coming back with a project share for a class that we had on Ustream last night, Monday. So yeah, and this is it. Let's, you know, stay tuned to see what's going to come out of these pretty things and uh, I will share those with you um, in the next weeks or so so thank you a lot for watching once again don't forget to stop by uh, going artsy use the code DTMA15 for 15% 15 off uh, your order and thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye